Daniel Boreda, and it's Friday again, coming to the end of another working week, and of course, a long weekend ahead of us because of the bank holiday. And also, as a result of the bank holiday, I shall be taking Monday off, so I shall see you again, God willing, on Tuesday. Let's stay with Paul's letter to the Romans as we bring this week to a close, and I want to share with you some brief thoughts this morning from the first two verses of that eighth chapter, those well-known verses that remind us that therefore there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. Paul's opening remarks in this chapter is a cause for great rejoicing. As we enter this bank holiday, rejoice, my Christian friend, because you are free from condemnation. In one sense, Paul is saying it's a life that is set free by God's abundant pardon. Hallelujah. Because we have died already with Jesus, we are not under any sort of condemnation. We have been justified before a thrice holy God. We who are in Christ cannot be condemned. We have been, con been condemned already in the cross, in Jesus, and have passed out of condemnation. What has liberated us from the law of sin and death? Something called the law of spirit of law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. You see, for us, the old principle of being under law has been superseded by a new principle, that of receiving life in Christ. Accepting Jesus is receiving life, eternal life. We are not condemned by the circle of sin, law, condemnation and death by God's law. We operate rather out of a new principle. We now have eternal life. We now live in the reign of grace. Listen to verses 3 and 4. For what the law was powerless to do in that it was weakened by the sinful nature, God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful man to be a sin offering so that he condemned sin in sinful man in order that the righteous requirements of the law might be fully met in us who do not live according to the sinful nature but according to the spirit. As a Christian this morning, I'm not living any longer under condemnation, but rejoicing in the liberty of God's outrageous grace, which he has poured and lavished upon me. And this life that I live is by the Holy Spirit and is condemnation free life. Hallelujah. Grace is the defining element of the Christian faith. My friend, you may feel that hell is what you deserve. However, Paul is clear. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus because through Christ Jesus the law of the spirit of life has set me free from the law of sin and death. This morning, my friend, and throughout this weekend, as Satan reminds you of your past sin, 
defend yourself against his accusations by quoting Paul's divinely inspired words here. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Your life is one that has been set free by God's abundant pardon. Rejoice in it, my Christian friend, and be blessed as you listen to Wesley's great hymn, and can it be, and he concludes with no condemnation. Now I dread Jesus, and all in him is mine. Poor Bendith, enjoy the weekend. Sing with me, and can it be? And can it be that I should again have been interested in the Savior's blood? Died he for me who caused his pain for me who did it to Oh